So I will do a usual 10 minute introduction for our new viewers. Uh, Jim started channeling about uh, six months ago, six months ago, and uh, we, uh, I was lucky to be contacted by the aliens. Um, we are speaking to Yael Grace, uh, to Pleiadian Errands, to Pleiadian Blues, to Lirans, and there was a brief conversation with an Arcturian, there was a brief conversation with an, an Andromedan, and we have a nice uh, set of conversations, we had a nice set of conversations <coughs> with an angel uh, of, of the third level of the God's realm, and we had a nice conversation, several conversations. They are not very nice, they were pretty tough, but we had intense conversations with uh, an ancient god, which is a human spirit, hu or not human spirit, ditch it out, an ancient god, a group spirit, non-human spirit, nothing, nothing about humans. <coughs> His name is L, E L, and it was known in many cultures, and um, it was very important, and he had a very important message <coughs> for us. Uh, Total, we had about 30 40 sessions with Jim, and originally they were recorded on audio and we are transcribing them and publishing them on our site, humancolony.org. And now we started doing the sessions uh, videos, so we just can publish them right away. So, check our YouTube channels, we have another maybe <coughs> seven, eight videos with uh, channel sessions. Uh, we are lucky to be, uh, to be speaking with the uh, person, a Yale Gray, his name is Dizyakabo Dizduda, shortly Dizdu, who is in charge uh, for the first open contact. Uh, Yale uh, Grays were selected by others to represent <coughs> the aliens in the first contact. And the reason for that is that they're close to humans. They are our descendants, descendants meaning sons and daughters. They are have our DNA, recent infusion of human DNA. They were created by Zeta Grays, by, by hybridizing Zeta Gray DNA and human DNA, recent human DNA. So they are our descendants, they are grateful for us giving, up, giving them their uh, our DNA and they are very motivated to help us. So that's why they were chosen to represent the aliens, the friendly aliens in the first contact. Uh, so, when it is going to happen, we don't know, but their plans changing and we are giving them as much advice as they are ready to listen. And, uh, you know, only that little can be said in the channel, and so we write them electronically, they can read electronic <coughs> letters. And uh, we publish those letters on our site, humancolony.org, so there is a lot of ideas which we give them to help the first contact. Um, so the last thing we heard about the timing was for a year from now, they were preparing for the first contact, and uh, we advised them to to not to force it on humans because it has to be voluntary. But basically, invite humans up there, invite our celebrities, representatives from United Nations, representatives from governments, from public institutions. But <laughs> our true representatives are our celebrities, so the really good good people who are loved by everyone. So inviting them up there and starting to have open contact, talk and learn each other and share the knowledge and things of that sort. So that's that's the proposal which I actually liked. Uh, because forcing themselves down here would be would be causing a disaster. Everybody understands that. Uh, El, the, uh, the ancient god group spirit came and gave us a sad news, a very important piece of sad news. According to their plan and Creator's plan, <coughs> the current date for a big disaster, which is economic meltdown, not natural disaster, but economic meltdown, is set for 2027. They say we should expect about two to five <coughs> months downtime when everything will go down and um, people will just be in the dark, I guess. Uh, everything will be kind of... You know, as, as it happened in the different countries, economic meltdown is pretty disastrous. And they expect <coughs> that about half of the human population will be lost just from local violence. The aliens would prevent the global wars, big wars. 
the aliens are in control of weather and they, they actually can, are capable of uh, minimizing the natural disasters. So they say, you know, by their estimates, next 13, 14 years there is nothing big coming. Small disasters, yes, but nothing uh, terribly big is coming. They can deflect all of that. But, but the economic disaster, uh, the L says, is absolutely necessary. And L is in uh, collaboration <coughs> with, with the aliens, which will uh, give advice to help preventing that, but, but uh, preventing the loss. But they say the, the economic meltdown is absolutely <coughs> necessary. So, so we, uh, we had previous days, like 2012, 2001, 1993, 94, where things were predicted to happen. Now we have the next day. And uh, my message is that uh, it's a tentative thing, and we have a, an opportunity to either prevent the big, big, big loss of and suffering of humans and suffering, or uh, at least minimize it. Um, oh, there is much more to say. Yeah, human colonies. Yes, uh, one of the. Uh, first proposal which I propose them is to take us up there and let's talk the up there and uh, that I developed in in many letters which I published as a book and it's available for free to read on on the website humancolony.org and they followed my advice and started human colonies up there my idea was that we will come there and uh, and basically broadcast down here what we find out through YouTube and even I think even if a, a report from 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 a mothership would be welcomed by any television network, they would be happy to publish it, and it would be actually cost tons of money. So it would be very profitable to sell them. So far, that doesn't didn't happen. But but you know the people uh, have been taken, and I was insisted, and they got my message. They now take only the volunteers. They never take people without without full conscious commitment. So first they contact people uh, very boldly, so you can't miss it, and and invite you up there. And then if you're ready, then uh, if you volunteer to go up there, then, then they pick people for a short time. No one is there longer than two weeks at once. But some people, you know, travel back and forth. So far, about uh, 190 people have been taken to the colonies, and at at most there was a little bit over 100 people total in the in the colonies up there. So, so, so it's a continuous process for about five and a half months. People go up and down, and um, and that's a big achievement. The aliens are talking to humans, talking to volunteers who really want to help the contact and to help the humanity in this way. So we start the website where we invite people to go up there. So far, about 200 people signed up to go, and only two, three people have been taken up, uh, as far as as we know. And, uh, and I hope that it will take more. Obviously, there, there is a lot of uh, a lot of uh, caution on, on the side of aliens. They don't want to make it too big, so to to avoid premature <laughs> awareness. I mean, they don't want to for the whole human humanity just to become aware that aliens are there, uh, which would cause premature crisis. They, they, they know that you know, premature crisis might, might be very devastating for our survival of, of our species. So they want the contact to be more under control and more positive than negative. So they want humans not to be scared, but to be happy to learn that they have aliens around who are wishing to help. That's, I guess, the main introduction.